Welcome back to another SHP case study. My name is Ryan Paris with Superhuman Prospecting, and we are going to dive into an insurance case study today that reaches out to small businesses. This is a very common type of scenario for our cold, cold call campaigns. So traditionally, this can be a little tougher to have success with. I would say there's probably four major industries that uh, when cold calling can be difficult if we don't have something different or some type of hook or something to make this offering interesting. So I think we did pretty well here and it was certainly uh, based upon some of the product relevance that this client brought to the table. So let's jump into it and see uh, a little bit more about the successes and why it was successful here in this SHP campaign. So we have a insurance company who provides property and casualty insurance, uh, but they specialize in workers comp. So uh, the idea and kind of their mission is to drive down employee related costs. So I love this because I remember doing some insurance business insurance type of calls, um, you know, in the first couple of years of superhuman and really just only having price or another look as the offer you know, uh, as a lower cost kind of benefit. And to me that, and what we've found from that, I should say is that, you know, that's very uh, transactional and you can get hung up on a lot and it's just a lot of volume and it's not creative, you know? And I think that has a lot to do with the messaging, but more importantly has to do with the product relevance and what they're bringing out that's available to give as a, as value rather than just price cutting. Cause why do that? If you, have your uncle, brother, cousin doing your insurance, you know, why would they go with somebody else? So uh, the objective of this was for our SHP cold callers to call business owners and offer opportunity uh, for an appointment to kind of review their current uh, insurance offering and run through some of the employee related costs that are going on uh, to see how that can drive down the premiums to legal minimum. And I like that. It's a little different angle. So uh, the script was a consultative conversation framework. Out of it, we have three H to H frameworks: the consultative, noble, and the uh, uh, survey script. So this one was a consultative, which sometimes you know isn't really used in insurance because it can be a little bit of a saturated marketplace for cold calling. So uh, it is interesting that we are doing the consultative conversation here, but. I think it's a little bit different than we'd normally go about it. So I want to walk through this and I, and I like this idea uh, because, you know, I think it opens the conversation in a different direction, maybe than what we traditionally recommend when using a consultative. So run something like this. Hi, my name is Ryan with Blank Insurance Company. I see your workers compensation policy is expiring soon. We have a great program for your industry uh, that has been very competitive against Blank Carrier, who is currently managing your workers comp. Uh, and so, you know, the, 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 the pitch there to get going is uh, actually pretty traditional. But what I like about this is the hone in uh, is, is really opening up the conversation um, to you know, talk about their current provider and if they have anyone. Now, they said here workers comp and our client has said, well, you know, in this industry that if you say workers comp to someone who manages that, um, you know, then, then it's typically going to be no one, you know? So the idea was to walk into that conversation, knowing that that could be the answer. And if they do, then, um, we still can go about it in a, in a little bit different route, a more competitive route. Uh, so if yes, great, still continue. We are a little bit different. Uh, if not, no, that's exactly why we're reaching out to help with your workers comp as we specialize in that. Um, we're saving 30 to 50% uh, from what your currently, your current premiums are. And, uh, the other, I, the other thing that they say here in the calling prop is that we have a unique set of skills to help develop long-term strategies to drive down employee related costs, furthering down your premium. And I, I love that because it adds something a little bit different than what you traditionally hear. You know, we did go for the savings, which everyone is looking for, but if you just end there, it's not good enough. So the reason why we're calling uh, is to set up a phone call with you know, the managing partner of ours 
to show how we can reduce workers' compensation expenses by 30%. What day works for you this week? So simple script uses some of the traditional benefits and features, but really offers, you know, something around the employee related costs, which I do like. So looking at the results, uh, this was analyzed through a set of six different campaigns. We had an, an average DM connect rate of 11%, which is solid. If you know anything about our averages, they are around 8%. So that means about one every 12 calls gets a decision maker on the phone where this one was one in every uh, nine or so, um, which is better. And that way you're having more opportunities. Uh, the ASR on DM connection, so the amount of appointments we set on those conversations was 13.5. And then the appointment set on dials was 1.5. So the overall was rather successful and above our average. Our average appointment setting rate on dials is typically around a 1% percent to 1.25 but this one was a 1.5 so about one in every uh uh you know, what is that let me do the quick math here divided by 1.5 one every 67 calls we were setting an appointment and if you know if you're in the cold calling game and you are looking for percentages that is something that you can depend on especially if they're showing up and you're able to have next steps with them so how did this work out? That was the average, but with this campaign, it took a very traditional uh, incremental improvement um, path. And our, we love to see that when this is the ideal type of campaign, because if you look at the graph, we slowly make progress. We had a couple appointments the first month and then it rose to, um, you know, three or four and then it went up to 10 and then back to four, but you can see that the increase was higher and higher as we went, if you drew a line um, through that graph. Uh, also had some warms and nurtures throughout this process as well. So these leads that we generate outside of the appointments are also opportunity because just because we don't set an appointment with someone doesn't mean they're not interested in learning more. It just might be at a different buying cycle than your selling cycle wants it to be. So that's just something to remember that leads can be just as important, even though they're not as urgent to work with. So remember to use those as well, because we have story after story of nurtures turning into uh, sales. So there you have it. We have an insurance campaign specializing in, in workers comp and offering, you know, additional strategies to drive down employee related insurance costs uh, to a legal minimum. Any comments, questions about this campaign, drop them below. Happy to talk to you. And if this is something that uh, could work for you. We're happy to talk with you about a cold call campaign to generate leads and appointments for your pipeline. Are you a company that wants to grow their sales pipeline, but don't know how to do it outside of cold email, inbound, and normal channels? Consider SHP. We provide cold call appointment setting and sales development services to generate leads and appointments outbound for your sales pipeline so you can have control over your sales destiny. Give us a call at the number provided or reach out to us in any way. We're happy to chat with you about how we can cold call and generate leads so that you don't have to. Be excited to do the work for you and can't wait to hear from you.